So this is my Redmi Note 10 Pro and I've been using the Cherry's OS 4.7 on this device as you can see that. So I'll be giving its full review. So if you're new to this channel and watch this content regarding this, you must watch this video until the last and then decide you have to subscribe and or not. So let's get started to the video. First of all, I would like to talk about the smoothness and everything about this device which performs the stability. So as you can see that I am on the 120Hz the opening closing animation of the device. There is, isn't a stutter lags that you're gonna face so far. If you, I edit the quick quiz styles, you can see that there is no stutter lag. I have been so ever far. And now I've been using it on 120Hz and talking about the customizations of this device, so you get a settings of the cherry settings you can customize your status bar according to you like if you enable network traffic indicator it is working as you can see that the traffic indicator has been working and now you can see that the background chip is also been there the clock style options is there many of the animations is there you can select the cubist transparency like these there is a quick transparency brightness slider and data usage as you can see that you can see that data usage is also being mentioned over there you do not gonna get any of the issues over there options like themes is also being there you can select the settings layout like oxygen os 12 and after that you can see that the full settings layout gonna change so this is all with the settings if you look on the miscellaneous you get a smart charging at a at a some level it gonna restrict the charging so ever smart pixels fps and unlimited photo stories is there if i talk about that i haven't played but uh, I have installed this ROM two times, but in the first time I used to check the PUBG new state and in that you are getting the 90 FPS. So in this ROM you can get the 90 FPS support of that also. Now talking about that you are also getting the ANS camera with the full support of the device. If you click on the video you can get the 4K 30 FPS support. In the more you get the 60 F 64 MP support over there and if I click on that photo and let us check its resolution. So yeah. It is whole 64 megapixels. The 64 megapixel is working fine and everything uh, like mm, front camera and everything is going to work fine. So haven't any issues over there also. Now talking about that, you're also getting the Dolby Atmos support like movie music and custom options is also been there. Now, if I generate, uh, want to talk about the benchmark that I have took so far. So first of all, this is the Antutu benchmark and uh, you can see that the Antutu benchmark is this, not bad, not so excellent, but yeah, better than average scores that you are getting, not much battery gaining temperature and yeah, 3% degree, 3% battery drop is being mentioned over there. Now talking about that, let's talk about the device certification over there. So this is the device certification device is being certified over there. So you're going to not face any of the issues. Safety net status is also passed or not. So let's run the test simultaneously and see. So yeah, safety net status does pass and the CTS profile is also being passed so far. I have also to do what you say, DRM info and here you are able to watch the Netflix and Prime video in full HD content if you have subscription of that or not. If you have 480p subscription, how could you play that? So this is all the benchmark part and everything I got you covered. So there is not nothing new to talk about. Now let us dive into the settings and talk out. So in terms of call reception and anything, I haven't faced any sort of issues in the call reception. The call reception is working fine. Network is also been there. Uh, there is no stutters lag in the call and there is no auto call cut issue is mentioned over there. You are also getting the Google dialer with the auntie is telling you that this, this, this call is being recording recorded so this is a display section and not much new option everything is also been known to yours wallpaper and styles is there and shortcuts is in there you can add but it it is been crashing so it is not work yeah it enables that but is also not working every of the time this is the upgrade option not much of the upgrade that is also good not much of the upgrade is being available to this App section is also there, default apps is there with the pixel launcher. I'm not going to help tell you that use any thermal profiles because thermal profile does not perform any good. Without thermal profiles, the score is getting much better. This is the battery section, the battery usage. And this is my supposed to be battery usage. I'm using it. It's my permanent primary device, what do you say? And have I faced any issues? This is all the details is mentioned. Battery percentage in the status bar, you can see that. 
is not working this is the sound and vibration profiles and me sound enhancer is not been there but only dolby which is good only one thing is there big this help you this let you help to get better sound quality over there in the securities option you can get face and fingerprint both i have checked out that were working fine this is the all accessibility is menu sound amplifier is pre enabled so you won't get any issues of that also this is the account section in the system updater option you get the gestures over there all the things are normal nothing to no talk about that sweet part is there higher refresh rate you can select like if i select the 60 hertz you can see that 60 hertz is also performing damn great performance so if you have a battery centric user uh, i can recommend you that 60 hertz is also giving best better performance in terms of that it is the refresh rate profiles per app you can enable according to your dc dimming is also there but i don't going to recommend to use that me sound enhancer is here but i tell you don't use that use only one only dolby atmos or me sound enhancer clear speaker option that is too good for your device so there is also an updater but you can flash dirty flash over this room but i in my recommendation don't use dirty flash method and because due to its official so new updates also come so don't use any what is a dirty side load method use only normal method clean flash format data over there in the about phone section all already i have talked so what high what i could recommend this custom room to all you or not so yeah i can generally recommend but there is issue of the charging the charging is little bit slow little bit not much that but little bit but in my day to day usage i can highly recommend you to this room the smoothness the call quality banking apps do work fine if you have lots of money in your bank don't going to use this but everything does surpass is fine so i'll be going to give you 5 4.5 out of 5 for this custom room so thanks for watching this video if you really found this helpful then give a like to this video and subscribe to this channel so i'll be going to meet you in the next video till then